everybody. Today, I want to tell you a story about a little girl with many obstacles. She matured very fast. She hit many brick walls that, ha that have seemed too tall to know it was on the other side. Ones most never could ever imagine, yet actually face in reality. Despite it all, she somehow managed to demol demolish the wall in its entirety. Her life became like any other family, filled with playtime and laughter. At four years old, her world was taken away when her grandpa was apprehended by ice. She wouldn't see him again. Because she was 12 years old. When they were reunited, everything felt as it did when she was a baby. If anything, it strengthened their bond. Their relationship was always special. Since birth, he held her and taught her what love and patience is. He was her protector and embodied everything a father should be. Consider this her first heartbreak of not having her favorite person by her side physically. And mentally ate her away. It was only through the sense of love he embedded that the family was able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That experience gave her a soft personality and left her very vulnerable. Her sweet and the kind nature left her bullied through elementary school because she looked different than most of her classmates. Apart from being a person of color, it was different to be mixed, never feeling fully understood by either side, Latina and African American in this case. Those who don't understand find it easier to draw a line of difference than to see the perspective and opportunity in the beholder. Separately, what had affected her the most what was happening outside of school. This little girl had limitless love for, the, for a father. Regardless of the constant abandonment and inconsideration he placed on their relationship. A child's desire to be accepted and loved is something that cannot help but be seeked. By the time she was in eighth grade, her and her father lost contact. Until the murder of her older brother. Which left the opportunity to mend their bond. Her and her older brother were always told that they were twins. They also felt they might as well have been the same person. Her brother was the first person who inspired her to pursue her basketball dreams to make them big and never quit. Before he passed, he too was in the midst of living his dream, and he was so close to making it before his life was taken away. This was one of the worst pains she'd experienced thus far. This encouraged her to chase her dream and to give it her all, no matter the cause. As she entered high school, she continued to play basketball, and she had a great season, and eventually had the opportunity to look at other schools. At first, transferring schools was a rough experience. Initially, she felt alone. And at one point, she regretted her decision. She missed her old friends and felt that she was missing out. Thankfully, she acquired the greatest friends anyone could have. Basketball had started, and everything was working out better than she could ever imagined. When Thanksgiving arrived, she was surrounded by her loving second family. When she finally got home from what she thought it was a great day, she went through her messages. Her eyes instantly welled up with tears. Multiple missed calls and texts, news her father had passed away. As always, she was able to allow her feelings to be felt. But even through this, she never lost sight of the end goal. This little girl grew up to be Ariana Mia Marchand. And I've learned that your path doesn't determine where you will end up, despite what happens to you. It is an excuse to give up or feel bad for yourself. Matter of fact, those are reasons to continue your journey and to earn your stripes. These heartbreaks were only growing pains. They broke me down to only rebuild me better each time. No matter what the rest of you have been through, just know that you have made it way too far for it to be the end. I want you all to reflect on your lives and come to an understanding that just because you take a different path doesn't make your worth increase or decrease. Our values as humans is all the same. Embrace the differences you have and will experience. Do not judge someone and their experience. It is what makes us who we are. For my thank yous, I'd like to start with my angels. My father, Tyrell Mitchell, who taught me to enjoy your time with your family and take things as they come. My big brother, Tramon Mitchell, who taught me how to truly care about someone, and that can be strong through suffocating affection, and that fighting my big sister, Adrian, was perfectly fine. 
Now I will be thanking the loved ones that I still have the, the pleasure to still hug. This part in particular will be in Spanish for my grandparents. Papi y mamá, solo quiero decirte es que yo te quiero con todo mi corazón. Y yo sé que no te amo, llamo mucho, pero distancia no afecta mi amor. Estoy muy agradecida de tener los recuerdos divertidos y amorosos con ustedes. Ustedes me han enseñado lo que es amar incondicionalmente. Yo sé que siempre voy a tener un hogar con ustedes. I'd like to thank my stepdad Will for treating me as his own and teaching me hard work and dedication. Thank you for putting a ball in my hands and being the only coach to believe in me and having a college career when even I did it. Mom, as much as we bump heads, I can't even thank you enough for all of this. I don't truly think without your support I would have made it. Every time I felt like I was drowning in my own tears, you were there. And any time I became a volcano releasing emotions, you were there. Thank you for simply just being here or sending me random messages just to make me laugh. This one is for my two older sisters. Thank you for keeping me humble. Thank you for the endless kisses and hugs and always doing my hair and teaching me what it is to be a growing woman. My baby boy, Sire, you don't know the joy you brought into my life when you were born. I was very sad and angry over things I couldn't control. You make your sissy so happy. Even when you see me cry, you wipe your, my tears and give me the sweetest kisses. We're best friends forever, Sugar Plum. And a million thank yous to all my friends, old or just new. Just thank you. You all have helped me grow. My sisters from Hoffman, you guys already know that our bond and love is endless. My girls, I love you all so much. Thank you for making me laugh. You guys have taught me what it is to enjoy life and take each moment as it comes. We've gone on so many adventures, but my favorite memories will always be, always be of us laying on Marina's bed, doing exactly nothing. I cannot thank all of you girls enough for loving me for who I am and just holding my hand. I know even miles apart, our bond won't change. Thank you to all the teachers for the pleasure of having me. I know my very vivacious personality may have been hard to handle, but thank you for allowing me to be myself and expand my knowledge. All of the coaches I've had, thank you for teaching me patience and accountability. Coach Mike, I love you dearly. You truly taught me what it is to play with charisma and poise and the true art of poetry and motion. Coach Rick, thank you for being more than just a coach, but a mentor and someone I can confide in. And they say it takes a village to raise a child. And I'd like to thank my village, and they all know who they are as well. Thank you for just infusing my life with positive energy, peace, and endless love, and just constant support. It has been a great experience, and it is far from over.